What if the key to change was within you all along? A question that nudges us to look inward, to reflect upon ourselves. Today we delve into a profound concept that has been highlighted in the Quran, the holy book of Islam, a concept that resonates with all of us, regardless of our religious beliefs, cultures or experiences. It's about the power of personal growth and change. We ponder upon the words from the Quran. Indeed, Allah, God, will not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. Quran 13.11 A quote that holds a mirror to our souls, urging us to understand the importance of personal responsibility and growth. You see, this quote is a timeless reminder that the power to change our lives, our circumstances and our destinies lies within us. It asks us to introspect, to evaluate our thoughts, our beliefs and our actions. It's about understanding that if we wish to see a different world outside, we need to start by changing our world inside. It's about realizing that we are the architects of our lives, that our lives are a reflection of what lies within us. That if we desire a different outcome, we must be willing to make different choices. That if we yearn for a different future, we must be willing to let go of the past that no longer serves us. This quote emphasizes that God in his infinite wisdom and mercy respects our free will that he will not intervene in our lives unless we decide to change ourselves. It's a call to action, a call to transformation, a call to personal growth. It's about understanding that change is not something that happens to us, but something that begins within us. That our external reality is a manifestation of our internal state, that our lives are shaped not by what happens to us, but by how we choose to respond. So let's embark on this journey of personal growth and change. Let's make the conscious choice to change what is within ourselves, to become better versions of ourselves, to create a life that is in alignment with our highest values and ideals. Remember, change is initiated within us, not around us. How often do you find yourself feeling hopeless? In moments like these, it's important to remind ourselves of a powerful quote from the Quran. And do not lose hope in Allah's mercy. Surely no one loses hope in Allah's mercy except the unbelieving people. Quran 12, 87. This quote may seem simple at first glance, yet it carries a profound message. It speaks about hope, an emotion that can light our path in the darkest of times. But not just any hope, it's a hope in God's mercy. It's the unshakable belief that no matter how difficult things may seem, there is always a silver lining. Now let's delve a little deeper into this. The essence of this quote lies in its second half, where it says, Surely no one loses hope in Allah's mercy except the unbelieving people. This is a gentle reminder that faith and hope are intertwined. If we have faith in God's mercy, then we can never truly be without hope. This quote also highlights the importance of maintaining hope, even in the face of adversity. It's easy to feel hopeful when things are going well, but true strength lies in keeping that hope alive when things are tough. It's about knowing that even in the darkest storm, the sun will eventually shine again. In essence, this quote is a call to resilience. It's a call to keep our faith strong and keep hoping, even when the odds seem stacked against us. It's about understanding that God's mercy is infinite, and even in our lowest moments, it is always within reach. Life is full of challenges and at times we may feel like we're drowning in a sea of despair. But remember this quote and let it be a beacon of hope in your darkest hours. Let it remind you that God's mercy is always available to you. All you need to do is reach out and have faith. No matter the circumstance, remember, hope is a beacon that never extinguishes. Have you ever noticed how the hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life? It's a thought that many of us may have pondered in our quiet moments. This idea is beautifully captured in a profound verse from the Quran. Surely with hardship comes ease, indeed with hardship comes ease. Quran 94, 5, 6. This verse is a powerful reminder that life's challenges, as difficult as they may seem, are not permanent. It's like a dark, stormy night that is invariably followed by a bright, sunny morning. This cyclical nature of life is a universal truth that resonates with all of us. 
We all go through periods of hardship, but these are often the catalysts for periods of ease and joy. Think of a seed. It's buried in the darkness of the soil under immense pressure, but it's this very hardship that triggers its transformation into a beautiful, thriving plant. Similarly, when we face challenges, we are given the opportunity to grow, to learn and to transform. It's during these times that we discover our resilience, our strength and our ability to adapt and overcome. The verse also emphasizes the importance of perseverance. The road may be rough, the journey may be tough, but the destination of ease is worth the struggle. We must remember that the night is darkest just before dawn, and similarly, our trials are often toughest just before we reach a breakthrough. This verse is not simply a statement of fact, but a call to action. It encourages us to face our challenges head on, knowing that they are temporary and that they are opportunities for growth and transformation. It's a reminder that the path to ease often passes through hardship and that the journey, as challenging as it may be, is a necessary part of our personal development. So, when you find yourself in the midst of hardship, remember this verse. Remember that it's a phase, it's an opportunity for growth, and most importantly, it's a precursor to ease. Hardship is not a stop sign, but a stepping stone towards ease. Are you patient enough to wait for your reward? This question invites us to reflect on the fourth quote we are exploring today, which is, Verily, those who patiently endure will receive their reward in full, without reckoning. This passage, found in the 46th chapter of the Quran, carries a profound message about the nature of patience and endurance. In a world where instant gratification has become the norm, the virtue of patience often seems to be undervalued. However, this quote from the Quran places a high emphasis on patience, presenting it as a pathway to rewards that are beyond our comprehension. It is a reminder that our trials, tribulations and periods of waiting are not in vain. The rewards for our patience are promised to be full without reckoning, a concept that suggests abundance and generosity beyond measure. This quote also conveys the importance of enduring trials. Patience is not merely about waiting, it is about enduring hardships with a steadfast heart, about maintaining hope when the odds seem against us, and about persevering even when the road ahead is filled with obstacles. It is about understanding that adversity is a part of life and that it often serves as a catalyst for growth and transformation. The promise in this quote is not just about any reward, but a reward that is complete, comprehensive and beyond calculation. This notion can be incredibly comforting and empowering. It tells us that our struggles are seen, our patience is valued, and our rewards are guaranteed. And these rewards are not just in the hereafter, but also in this life in the form of inner peace, strength, and resilience. So, as we navigate through life, let us remember this profound quote from the Quran. Let it be a reminder to remain patient through our trials, knowing that our endurance will not go unnoticed. For as the Quran promises, those who patiently endure will receive their reward in full, without reckoning. Patience is not about waiting, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. This concluding thought encapsulates the essence of our discussion. After all, patience is not simply about the act of waiting, but rather it's about the attitude we maintain during the wait. Ever wondered where to seek help during challenging times? As we journey through the final stretch of our exploration, let's delve into another profound quote from the Quran, which reads as follows. Seek help from Allah and be patient. Surely Allah is with those who are patient. This quote, like a compass in a storm, guides us towards the two vital elements needed to navigate the tumultuous seas of life, divine assistance and patience. It nudges us gently, reminding us to reach out to the divine, to seek help from a source that is infinitely compassionate and wise. But it doesn't stop there. The quote also emphasizes the significance of patience, a virtue often overlooked in our fast-paced world. Patience, it suggests, is not merely a passive act of waiting. It's an active process of endurance, of maintaining a calm and steady spirit in the face of adversity. It's about holding on to hope during the darkest nights, confident that dawn is just around the corner. The beauty of this quote lies in its assurance. 
Surely Allah is with those who are patient. It reminds us that we are never alone in our struggles, that in the thick of our challenges when we feel most alone, we are in fact in the company of the Divine. This companionship, this Divine Presence is a source of comfort, strength and resilience that can help us weather any storm. In conclusion, this quote, like the others we've explored, carries a message of immense depth and wisdom. It teaches us that in seeking help and exercising patience, we not only find a way through our difficulties, but we also find our strength and companionship with the Divine. So as we wrap up this journey, let's carry these quotes with us. Let's remember them when we face our own challenges. Change, after all, starts within. Hope is never lost. Ease follows hardship. Patience brings rewards and help is always within reach. In seeking help and exercising patience, we find our strength and companionship with the Divine. Remember these quotes when you face your own challenges. Change starts within, hope is never lost, ease follows hardship, patience brings rewards and help is always available.